Hey, hey, board gamers, and welcome back to the board meeting. Today, I'm just going to be talking about some current life things that are happening to myself. And you might have noticed on this channel that I haven't been posting a lot recently. And it's just because I'm I'm so busy in my regular life right now. But hopefully I get uh, everything calms down a little bit here pretty soon in the next month or so that, so I can get back to regularly doing stuff on this channel. So right now, the life events that are happening are my, my son moved in with me full time now, um, where before I just would have him, you know, on the weekends and stuff like that. Now he's going to be living with me full time year round. And so that's a little bit of a change for me. And we're living in this, you know, little two bedroom house right now. And so you might not hear some noises. It's just every there's there's so many noises now in this house. So it's hard for me to record, first of all. But another thing that's going to be happening, which I'm very excited about, is we're going to be moving out of this house. We're going to be moving into a bigger place, and we're actually moving in with my girlfriend. She, we're, we got a different house that we're all moving into. And that has caused some, you know, there's a lot of things happening. We're packing up a lot of stuff. <laughs> but the main thing that we're going to be talking about today is moving a large board game collection, such as my own. I have over 700 games. I have close to 800 games at the moment right now. Plus, I've got a bunch of other games set to the side for, like, giveaways and stuff like that that are in my house. Plus, you know, seven or eight different board game shelves that are down here in my basement. And so, I've got a lot of stuff to move. And, you know, I've I'm not really worried about all the other stuff in my house, you know, the dressers, the beds, the clothes, and the TVs and stuff, moving that to that place. Not a big issue. What I have found out is a bigger issue and almost more work than any of the other stuff combined is this board game shelf, this board game room that I have, that I have to transfer here to another house. And we're not even moving out of state. We're not even moving out of town. We're moving literally like less than a mile away into a different house over there. And <laughs> it's it seems like, oh yeah, that's going to be simple. But I'm like, I've got a lot of work to do. And you can't see it right now because I have kept these shelves up, but I've got like a bunch of my other games put away into boxes and stuffed in boxes. And I've got a couple shelves that I've brought upstairs, but for the most part, you know, you know, there's a there's still a bunch of shelves down here that I have to move upstairs. And the problem is I have to take some of these shelves apart in order to get them back upstairs which is going to be a pain because then I'll have to reassemble them, whatever. But all I'm saying is I've got a lot of work to do to move this collection over to a different area. And I'm wondering, have any of you ever moved if you've had, when you've had a large board game collection, you know, over a couple of hundred, three, four hundred games, maybe I've got, like I said, close to 800 games. So this is a big thing to move. And the thing is, I've kept a lot of my expansion boxes and I've kept like, like all my unmatched boxes are right there, even though I don't use them because I've got all my unmatched in a different box in little deck boxes. So I'm like, do I throw away my boxes that I'm just using for like kind of display or what should I do? Because I don't want to, but should I just because I'm moving and I've got all my Marvel champion boxes, even though all my Marvel champion box cards are in like the big giant card boxes. What am I supposed to be keeping? What am I supposed to be? How am I supposed to be organizing this to make it the move easier? And I've got a couple weeks to, to plan everything. I've got, like I said, several boxes surrounding me filled with these games and we're moving in two weeks, and I'm excited for that. But yeah, the the biggest thing is for me was to move my board game collection rather than the rest of the stuff in the house, which is pretty I don't know sad I guess or I don't know what that is. But you know I've I've had to plan more for the board games and the than the other stuff in my house and my son's stuff. I had to plan way more for this things. But I I'm wondering I'm asking you guys when you've moved. What was your strategy in moving everything? Did you put everything in boxes or just, just load up a bunch of games into your cars and trailers and stuff like that and just go that way? Yeah, but that's, uh, it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds over the next couple of weeks. So I will be pretty busy. I'll try to post a couple of videos here and there, but I am going to be pretty busy moving not only my board game collection, but everything else off, obviously in my house and everything in my girlfriend's house to this new house, which I'm very excited about. Um, 
But yeah, just comment your, your thoughts down below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more weekly content from me, Shane, at the board meeting in the future. Hope you all have an amazing day. Take care.